Is your Mac too slow? Too slow boot time? Lagging apps? Or that annoying spinning wheel? Does it sound familiar to you? Hey everyone, welcome back to Crazy Errors. Whether you're using an Intel-based older Mac or it's the latest Apple Silicon, performance drop can happen over the time. But the good news is we can still take care of that. In this video, I'm going to walk you through 10 effective and powerful tweaks that you can apply right now and that will give an instant boost to your max performance. And the best part is you do not need to install any third party application during this entire process. Also, you don't have to use some kind of technical geek. Before you go ahead and apply the changes on your Mac, go ahead and back it up. Also, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and enable the notifications for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. And let's get your Mac back in shape. Step number one, reduce transparency and motion. Mac OS animations and transparency effects look slick, but they consume system resources, especially on an older Mac or the base models. Go to system settings, click on accessibility on the left side. Now on the right side, look for display, click on it and go ahead and enable reduce transparency. This step instantly takes the pressure off your graphics processor and gives your Mac immediate relief. Step two, disable unnecessary login items. If your Mac is too slow to boot, chances are it's loading unnecessary applications at the startup. Whether you wanted it or not, a lot of applications on your Mac will add to your startup login and will slow your Mac down. And to disable those unnecessary applications, we are still going to stay in system settings window. Now under system settings, click on general. Further, scroll down and look for login items. In the top section of this window, you're going to see some applications. Those are added to the startup. Go ahead and select them one by one and click on this minus button at the bottom and remove them from the startup and let your Mac feel lighter. Additionally, scroll down this page and check what applications are enabled in the background. As many applications are enabled in the background on your Mac will make you feel as if your Mac is exhausted because of extra load. So go ahead and disable any application that is not essential to run in the background. Now this step frees up memory on your Mac and helps it speed up the overall process of a startup. Step three. Check Activity Monitor for resource hogs. Some applications on your Mac secretly consumes a lot of CPU and memory even when you're not using them. At the right side top corner, there's a Spotlight Search button, click on it. Or you can also go ahead and press Command plus Space together to access Spotlight Search. Now type Activity Monitor. In this window, go ahead and click on this tab where you see percentage CPU or percentage memory. Tap on it to sort them in the heaviest order. Now go ahead and select those application processes which you're not currently using one by one. And then click on the X button at the top to stop and choose force quit. Now go ahead and repeat the process with every other application process that you're not currently using and you're aware of what it is. Shutting down the background hawks can give your Mac an immediate performance boost. Step four, free up RAM and the disk space. Low disk space or RAM can also choke your Mac performance. And like every other device, Mac also needs the room to breathe. So further, go ahead and get to system settings window once again. Click on general. Look for storage. From this window, go ahead and delete unused apps. Scroll through all these applications. If you find something that is unnecessarily sitting on your Mac, go ahead and make a selection and then simply go ahead and choose the delete button. Optimize storage. You can go ahead and remove movies or TV shows that you have already watched. However, you can also go ahead and re-download them on your Mac anytime you want. You can also enable the automatic trash cleaner. By enabling this feature, you can automatically remove what's in the trash bin after every 30 days. You can also go ahead and manually access downloads folder by clicking on finder. 
further on left click on downloads now go ahead and select those files or one by one trash anything that you find unnecessarily sitting here moreover you must keep 20 to 25 percent storage space free on your mac to avoid any sort of performance problems step 5 update mac os and apps again under system settings window click on general then look for software update right here if there is any update available you're gonna see that appear in this window in a moment and to update apps click on the app store button in the dock if you don't find it in the dock go ahead and again click on spotlight search and type in there app store and open it from there in app store on the left click on the update button and look for possible updates right here and you can go ahead and hit update Updates for Mac OS or applications, they include some essential performance patches, memory optimizations, and the bug fixes. Step six, rebuild the Spotlight in DAX. Many of us may experience a problem like that wherein the search results are laggy, the files are not showing up on time, it takes a lot of time to uh, reflect those search results. You can assume in such conditions, the Spotlight Index is probably broken, so we need to fix it. Now open system settings and look for Spotlight on left. On right, scroll it down till bottom and click on search privacy. Click on the plus symbol at the bottom at the top where you see the folder options go ahead and click on it if you don't see your main hard drive select and choose in the next window click ok and done now wait for about 30 seconds to one minute click on search privacy again select your hard drive and remove it from this list and click done as a result after a short time spotlight search on your mac will start performing faster than before Step seven, reset PRAM or NVRAM on Intel Max. Now this step resets the system level settings like a startup disk, display resolution. Sometimes even some of the features on a Mac, they are not performing adequately. Go ahead and perform this task. Don't make it a habit. Suppose the camera is not working. There's a sound problem. There's a keyboard problem, trackpad problem. You go ahead and reset NVRAM or PRAM on your Mac. On Apple Silicon Macs like M1, M2, M3, M4, you can simply press and hold the power button for about 20 seconds and that is pretty much it. However, on Intel based Macs, you have to follow a specific process. In the first step, go ahead and shut down your Mac. Now turn it back on and immediately hold Option, Command, P, R. These four keys together, you hold them about 20 seconds. You're going to hear the chime sound once and then again and then let it go. Step eight, run first aid in disk utility. Click on a spotlight search on the right side top corner, type in there disk utility, open that. In this window, select Macintosh HD. And on the right side top, you're gonna see an option first aid. You can click on it. This will check for the volume adders and this will repair them automatically. Go ahead and click on run. This will barely take a moment. Disclaimer, verifying a startup volume will cause the computer to stop responding. And this may take a several minutes. Then click on continue. Once completed, click on done. Exit disk utility now. This step is pretty effective for the minor disk issues in the background. And also it can be a great step to follow for the long-term good health of your Mac disk. Step nine, clear system and browser caches. Caches are meant to speed things up. However, over the time they pile up and they slow the system instead. Before you follow any step, here's a little disclaimer. Do not delete anything you don't understand. Also, if you're not sure, go ahead and first create a backup under your time machine. Now open Safari. Click on Safari at left side top corner. Go under settings. Now click on advanced and check the box, show features for web developers. Now this will add a button develop in the menu at the top. You click on it and further go ahead and click on empty caches. Next, click on finder and in the menu bar at the top, click on go. Further click on computer, click on Macintosh HD, open library. In this folder, the first thing, go ahead and open caches. 
Now select everything in this folder. Command A will allow you to select them all together. Make a right click and click on move to bin. Click on the back button from here. Now look for logs. Open, select every file and folder in this directory too. Make a right click and move to bin. Now this is the time for our final step to improve any Mac's performance. Restart your Mac regularly. This sounds absolute basic. However, many of us always keep our Macs running all the time. You should go ahead and restart your Mac at least once in a week. Restarting Mac clears up temporary files, memory leaks, and inactive processes. Those are clogging up your RAM. Well, I'm done in this video and I can assure you one thing guys, these easy 10 steps can drastically change the performance of your Mac and the best part is without any sort of technical expertise. Let me know in the comment section which of these steps helped you the most. I'd like to hear from you. And if this video really helped you, then don't hesitate in hitting the like button and subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks and solutions. And until next time, you take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.